everybody, this is Abigail from Sacred Sister Soul Talks, bringing you another oracle card. This card is Our Lady of Truth. When you choose to be in your truth, expressing and being you, you are with me. In those moments, your voice and every action rings true like a bell, sending out waves of sound that cut through that which no longer serves you. Being in your truth empowers that which can assist and support you in your life path. Don't hold back out of fear. Be kind and be true. Let me help you attain both of these spiritual goals. Now, remember, being in your truth is how you're closest to me. And how true are those words? It is only when we become truthful with ourselves that we can face anything that comes before us. There's a saying, there's only one thing, and one truth, and that's the real truth. The mother just asks you to be truthful with you. If you cannot be truthful with you, how are you going to be truthful with anybody else? So here you go. She says your world is changing and is triggered by transformations. This card brings you comfort and guidance, encouraging you to honor your truth, especially to be truthful with yourself, as you can only be possibly only be. Sometimes we may hide the truth of what we feel. You know, transformation is a hell of a thing. Let me tell you, um, as being a person who's been through so much in the last couple of years and the last couple of months, more so than anyone, I've had to face my truth. I've had to look at myself as a young girl going through all that I've been through, the salt, insulting, um, feeling less than when I was eight years old, Grow up, growing up in the Caribbean, not everybody had running water. And I remember as a young girl, I had to bring water from what we call the street pipe back to the house. And, you know, I was coming of age, um, and all the guys who were playing football on the pasture, um, at the end of their football, they would gather around um, a house close to the, the pipe where I caught the water. And, you know, you're coming of age, so you're kind of embarrassed to let the, the boys or see you doing something like as mundane as that. And I'm bringing this water, and I have to pass them. And I, was, I felt humiliated. Um, and it's only natural, you know. You're young. You're impressionable. And I, I felt less than. And all of those things, believe it or not, do affect you in how you face the world as you become an adult. Because you never deal with the shame. You never deal with the embarrassment. You never deal with it yet that you felt less than. And it affects you as a teenager. It affects you as a young woman coming in low in this world. You know, and um, it piles up. I mean, never face those truths. We just add to them as we go along. And as a woman now, in my 50s, I've had to face all of those truths. I've had to heal that little girl so that she can carry on, so that she can face her truth and know that it was okay. But at that time, I didn't know to know it was okay because all of that has made me a better person. All of that made me the woman I am. And, you know, I had to heal that young girl and I had to heal the young woman that she would become so that me as a woman can now move forward and leave all of my baggage or most of it because don't care how much we heal, we still have it, right? So that I can heal that baggage, leave that alone. As uh, my friend Siobhan will say, unpack. I had to unpack a lot of my shit and leave that. You know, I bless everything that I've gone through past relationships, failed relationships, you know, and bless and forgive myself first for not knowing, for not knowing. And now as a woman, I can say that I know. I'm still growing, I'm still learning, but I don't have the baggage that I had before because I had to tell myself those truths. And those truths helped me to become as an empath, as um, a clairvoyant, as a clairaudient, person, I've had to face those so that those who have helped along the way um, or will continue to help, that I could be all of that for them and not bring my baggage along with me. 
So it's mother wants you to face the divine consciousness just want you to face your truths because as i said if you can't be honest with you you cannot be honest with anybody else so you have to face your truths and once you do that that's half the battle half the battle so i have i hope this oracle card helped you in some way let me finish the meditation and let's see where that goes before you there is a large white bell created from pure light. A woman in a white robe with a crown of white roses stepped forward to strike the bell with one clean, strong stroke. Pure power, sounds ring out, echoing through you. Intend to receive that sound for a few moments and know that it is helping support you as you elevate your frequency. You don't have to understand how it happens. Through her power, it must happen. The woman closes her eyes and places her hands in prayer for a moment. She then opens her eyes and gazes directly at you. And you can hide nothing from her and you realize that she loves and supports you completely. When you are ready to close your healing process, you can say the following affirmation. Mother Mary, or Lady of Truth, let your light of truth shine within my heart. May I know and live my own truths with kindness, compassion, and courage. May each one of us be supported in doing so, that we may live and let live without fear. May the light of your perfect justice shine bright for the greatest good. So be it. So if the mother is forgiving and the mother is loving you into yourself, then you can't go wrong. So I hope this broadcast helps someone out there. And just a reminder, we are having a Sacred Sister Soul Talks Conference in March, on March the 21st of 2020. I do hope that you guys can come out and support. We are going to have all kinds of wonderful things happening. We have speakers and singers and dancers. And this really is a meeting for us to connect and begin the healing process to help each other. We'll have deep meditations that we can take back with us and where we stay in touch because we are going to be each other's support. We can look for others to do it for us. We have to start somewhere. We have to do it ourselves. So I do hope you guys can come out. You can um, check any more videos that I have um, on the playlist to see, um, get more information. Um, if you would like to contact us, it is Sacred Sister Talks. S A C R E D S I S T E R T A L K S at gmail dot com, or you can give a call at nine eight zero. 5491004 and state the purpose of your call and I will get back in touch with you to forward you any information as we unfold this conference. So thank you guys for watching and check back for more meditation moments from our Mother Mary Oracle. Thank you. Bye. In the spring of 2020, Sacred Sister Soul Talks will be having its first conference. For additional information on our informative and inspirational talks, or if you have a story to tell and would like to share it, please contact us at Sacred Sister Talks. S A C R E D S I S T E R T A L K S at gmail.com that's sacred sister talks at gmail.com or 980-549-1004 don't forget to share and subscribe